In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create your own house floor plan design in five easy steps. Let's go. All right, so today we're starting with ArcCAD 25 and I'm using one of my personal templates. You can use any template you want. Everything I show you today is gonna to be exactly the same. Before we start, we wanna come across to our project map, click on that little 3D house, come down to our ground floor and double click so we know we're working on an actual floor plate. Next, we're only really focusing about the actual floor plan design itself. So we wanna focus with the wall tool. In the top left-hand corner, you're gonna find a plain box that is your wall tool. It is gonna be on any layer you need to. We're not focusing on layers, we're not going in depth today. This is literally just to get you a floor plan. And then up the top here as well, you're gonna have all your different types of brick and stud walls as well. Pick anything you want. Again, it is not important for the sake of this tutorial. By holding the scroll wheel and dragging left and right, you can actually pan across. So we're gonna start somewhere over here on the blank side of the screen. If we're designing a floor plan, all you wanna do is click once while you have that wall selected. Hold shift to keep that wall dead straight. Click again to keep creating some sort of floor plan. So for the purposes of this, that's gonna be my floor plan, my original box idea. And you can replicate that same idea for anything that you want. So if you wanna come back to your wall tool, and click once more, click again to actually create your rooms inside your rooms. You can keep clicking as many times as you want, literally just to start creating some sort of floor plan in here that resembles what you're trying to design or what you're trying to communicate to somebody. Next, you might be thinking that floor plan may be huge, maybe tiny, I have absolutely no idea. How do we get further? How do we concentrate on the actual dimensions? What do we actually know about this floor plan? So if we come down to our dimension tool underneath document, click on that. And then again, click on one of our outside walls and both outside walls. We're gonna see that's 16 meters wide. That there is 16 meters wide. So I've made a relatively good box. Now in this instance, these dimensions don't matter to me because it's just a tutorial to showcase what we wanna do. But if I was to select this outside wall because I wanted that to be exactly 16 meters, I could either click on that end node, come down to this drag tool, or by clicking escape to get out of that menu, I could press control D and drag that across, type in 105 to move it 105 millimeters across. A quick little interlude, if you need any assistance designing floor plans or anything architectural, make sure you check out the links below. Next, we need to focus on our doors and our windows. So they're two different tools. You have your door object over here and you have your window object over here. If we wanna to go to our door tool, click on the door up the top and then simply type in door. ArchiCAD will produce a million and one different door options that we can select from, that we can edit from, that we can use in a million different ways. So if I simply click on door 25, style, I can change my style. Let's keep it as one, let's keep it as 900, click OK. Locate roughly where I want my door, click OK, click again, and I can start placing my doors into my project as I see fit. Now again, this isn't about actually using ArcCAD properly, this is just about showing you how to get a floor plan and an idea on paper very, very quickly. It isn't about documenting anything in detail. So all we're really looking to showcase is how we can get a floor plan together in a very simple process. The same process for Windows is we come across to our window tool, we click up the top to our window settings and we type in window, which allows ArcCAD to showcase us all the different styles of windows that they have automatically generated for us. So we can go through any of these windows, select them as we see fit, or we can create our own window like before. Let's just say we wanna use this window here and here, and then we wanna use a different window. Let's say this one over here for this wall and this wall, and we're gonna repeat that process a couple times. Now, last but not least, what we're gonna to need to do is actually show some objects inside and potentially some text. So text is the easy one. We can simply type, drag, and let's call this master bedroom. Click OK, now we know that is our master bedroom. I can then again repeat that and go living, bed two, bath, and entry. So now I have some tags everywhere that might be useful to me, might not be but that's how we create our tags. Next, we go into our object tool, click on the object up the top. Let's say we're searching for a toilet, so we simply type in toilet. WC25 is more than enough for us right now, so we just simply come in down, click on our toilet anywhere in the project. Command D or Control D lets you move it. Control Command E lets you rotate it while holding Shift 
allows you to rotate it at perfectly 90 degrees. I can replicate that same process over here with this other toilet. We can simply repeat that step for whatever we need. So let's say now we need a shower. We can type in shower cabin, click OK, drop it into our project, place it where we believe it should go. Repeat that step again. Let's say we want a new bathtub, a freestanding bath like that could fit perfectly over here. Now let's say we need a little bit more furniture in this floor plan. For example, we need a bed. So the process is the same for everything that we're looking for. We're typing in bed, we're getting our bed, we can drop it into our project. Let's say now we need a sofa for our actual living areas as well. We can continue to repeat that same process over and over again for as many objects as we need, regardless of what we're looking for. Archicad probably has something resembling what we need. So unless you're really trying to specifically create a 3D image, you can most likely simply just use whatever objects ARCHICAD has to be able to actually create what you're looking for. So now we have our master bedroom, our bathrooms, little bits and pieces in between. We know how big our floor plan is. We know where our doors are. We know where our windows are. We know basically everything there is to know about ARCHICAD to be able to produce something very quickly, something very easily, and something that you can convey to somebody else. And that's it. My name's David Tomich. I'll see you next time.